Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Lee Nelson. And I'm Lindsay Mills. An update tonight from Portland City leaders on what they're calling phase two of their response to the arrival of hundreds of asylum seekers from African countries. As many as 250 people continue to live at the emergency shelter set up at the Portland Expo Center. That's in addition to the more than 40 families living at the family shelter on Chestnut Street. City officials are working under an August 15th deadline to find more long-term housing solutions. So far, city officials say seven families have moved to rental housing in the Midcoast. Meantime, the city is using its cultural orientation program to help with urgent needs like housing and English language services. It's a program the city already offers monthly to new mayors. However, with this influx of asylum seekers, they've had to make some adjustments. On Monday, the program will begin offering a four-week English language crash course. And the intent is really what we're defining as survival English. So that they're able to say their name, that they're able to uh, say their address, that they can recognize forms, that they can um, just the really basics um, to, to survive in, in the immediate situation. Now the city is working with local organizations like Learning Works, Hope House English Language Services, In Her Presence, and the YMCA to offer this course. The Children's Museum is providing childcare services while parents attend those classes. 